welcome back to the channel. First of all, before I kick off anything, thank you for the support. Being back on this car does feel really good. Um, people seem very excited about having it back on the channel. So obviously they're not on their own. This is, you know, this is the next big build for us. So not really much chatting is going to go on. Uh, other than if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It really, really does help the channel. It really does help us continue to make these videos. And yeah, your support as ever guys is overwhelming. So thank you very much. Right. In this video, we're just going to get stuck straight in. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get any welding done, but I'm just going to try and get my head around the panels in this corner. So obviously we're working on this side. We have lower quarter repair panel, inner bin closer panel, whatever you like to call it. So you can kind of see, they go like that, that's inside your bin. And then we have this one that goes in your bin and then it kind of latches onto there and it all kind of sits ish like that until I take you to the car right so it's all gathered down here in this tiny little part of my garage and let's work it out shall we so obviously I have got to cut a bit away of this panel I want to use all of this panel uh, there was a like minor bit of filler and you might notice there's a little bit of a cut higher here that's because this this panel uh, being a heritage panel was a complete door post repair so it went right to the front in the tucked up under here so i had to take this piece out i wasn't too bothered because it was rotten along here and obviously we've had the floor in so it doesn't bother me at all that uh, so what we'll do is we'll make a piece to go in there i've marked off where this panel goes so i've only got to make it's literally an inch and a bit it's not that bad and then just obviously tap it around and make this back up and then you got the line there the swage line That will go in something like, I'm gonna joggle this edge. And then we have, Christ, let's get this the right way around guys, put it out. So this kind of sits on this ledge. I, I haven't cut away the old part of it yet. So you can kind of see where it's going. So I can see that old flange basically on there. So that will sit on there, something like. That will sit over that, something like. And all get welders together in theory. So obviously welding a panel like this, it's all about heat management. You really have got to be careful. I really don't want to put loads of filler in this panel. Uh, this is, you know, it's a really good. Both the cores on this car are good. The only reason it's gone because of the overseals again on the bottom here. So obviously this is what them panels up for you. This panel basically sits in the, in the door bin and obviously creates the closure for the door bin so you're not dropping stuff in your seal. And then this this tab of it basically goes on to the top of there. So this does need a little bit of work. I played around with it a little bit. It kind of needs to start shaving off a little bit just to get right in the door, back in the door frame. But we'll work with that. That's absolutely fine. So I think what we're going to do, is we're going to mark off this panel so we can get this fit, the quarter panel fitting nice. I can work out then how much I need to put in here. And then we'll joggle this panel and then we'll trim back everything inside here. So it's a bit of kind of grinding, tidying things up and kind of seeing how things are and how things are going to fit together. Uh, I don't want to rush this process because I've never done all of this in this depth before. I've never fitted these. I've fitted quarter repairs, but I've never done all this inner stuff. I've never had to do any of this. So I really want to take my time with it. So yeah, it's kind of the aim of the game. I've marked here, like I say, where this panel comes from. Then I've marked basically my joggle edge. So I've got two marker pen marks. So I'll cut this panel. Basically, it's almost right there, but I've just got to take this piece out. You'll see here that this is this is corroded. So what I, have to do, what I want to do is make a little piece to go in there and then a the piece to go in there before I fit this. So let's get the cutter out. Let's do some markings. Let's get you guys set up on a time lapse and let's have at it. Let's crack on.
rid of the uh, little bit of overhang that we didn't need off that panel now. Um, and we've trimmed down, got loads of off I wanted to bring you guys in as the little panel that I'd made. I don't know where I've just put it. Where have I just put that down, guys? Right guys, first off, I uh, yeah, I forgot how much I hate working in a little garage. It's a it's a right pain in the ass. But I made the little piece up that's gonna go in there. But what I wanted to show you is like, look at that. It's like who prepped this paint? <laughs> it just peels off. Not good. So lesson learned there, isn't it? My paint can't be like that. <laughs> That's all just prep. You can clearly see that's not been prepped. So, like, look at this. Look at that. It's really satisfying. Yeah, anyway, bare metal now, which is obviously what I want it down to anyway. So this little piece, fits nice in there now I can work with that so what I can do get the store back open that will sit up in there I'll tack that in and then obviously plug weld it to that post that will kind of make up one nice clear section for me to put that panel in so my next point of call is I'm basically gonna get everything made up cleaned up and then ready to go so I've made that one piece uh, just see me clean this out here so I just need to make another piece to go in that little bit of the arch uh, because this panel, this panel kind of needs it to butt up to. So I need to get that sorted. I mean, I could do it after. It's not all great shakes if I, if I miss it out now, uh, but it'd be quite nice to have everything made up and then I can just keep, keep going and going and going and going with, uh, with welding. So. Uh, yeah, I just want to, I really want to get this side kind of mopped up because I'm going to feel a lot better about it. So I've got my uh, joggler tool back out. So it's got a hole puncher on one side and a joggler on the other. So I'll bring that up, guys, to show you. Sorry, I can't get you down there with me. So I've spun it around, got a nut on the top. So I've got a joggler. And then the other side is just a hole punch. Obviously, when you spin it around off this plinth, you can use one or the other. So yeah, easy, just a little 10 milli. So it's made by... Clark Tools, had it for years. Bought it for the whole punch, really, but yeah, it's decent. So, all I've got to work out now is how how much I need to trim off this, because this, this is just too long. I actually found the other one out of the bin, and the original one kind of stops here. <laughs> it's like, it's not half as big as that. So, uh, that needs sorting out. I'll probably end up just lopping that corner out just so it can slide under the, the post a little bit better. Yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So I feel a little bit better about just having this clean back and having it look a bit more tidy. Let's keep pushing on. I keep bringing you guys in. Like I say, it's going to be a bit of a... I, I don't want it to be a boring video, but I've got to learn this myself. So I'm kind of bringing you guys along with me. So anyone that's done this and got any tips, obviously be great comment below because take it on board I'm learning with you guys so I haven't done this section of a car before and it's 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 quite good I got a bit panicky because I saw a load of filler start coming out of there but I worked out if I can find the little piece wherever I put it where have I put it right we'll show you that at the end of the video but it's already had a door a, a lower repair here at some point in its life you can see where it's been tacked together so we're well, next point of call is we're gonna get this to fit in here nice it really, really isn't far off, guys. So let's get that trimmed up. I'll bring you guys back in.
think that's going to call it for this video. So, obviously, this panel needs pushing against that one. But I joggled the edge. You can kind of see the joggled edge there. Obviously, we've got that piece to go in there. But all that, when it's pushed together, it's, it's nice and tight. So, obviously, all this needs cleaning up and tidying up. But it lines up nicely there, just needs tapping in. Um, this is obviously a very, very rough mock up. This is not how I'm going to leave it. So, bear with me, guys. I'm just playing with the panels. Um, this one, now I've kind of got this to sit where I want it to sit. That does come up for me there, which is exactly what we want. We'll see clamp pulled tight and stuff like that. You can now see the gap that we have got missing. So you can see where this butts up. So I've just got to put a piece in there. Not an issue. I am going to do that after actually, just so I've got some nice access to get in here. But yeah. What do I think to it? All right, so I'm going to park this video here. So there's a lot of fettling to do. Like I say, I'm just mucking around in here. I've never gone into this much depth in this corner of a car before. So trying to make three panels that shouldn't be together, be together. Uh, one's from M Machine, one's from Heritage, and one's from Magnum. To be fair, they are going well. They are going how I want them to go. Um, but it's one of them. I think I'm just gonna have to just fettle it more and more and more until I'm really, really happy with it. I am not gonna start welding anything until I'm happy. This is a very, crucial part of the car if this looks wrong the quarter's going to look wrong so i've got to get it right so that being said uh like i said i'm going to part this video there i'm going to play around a bit a little bit more i'm toying with the idea of when i do do the welding is put some tech screws through the quarter i really would like not to have to uh obviously i'm going to get the airline out with a cold air feed onto it just to keep everything cool i don't want any panel warpage so we're going to work with that looking down here now looking at the panel obviously you have got the gap because they're not pulled together but it's 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 nice and straight down i'm happy with that so yeah i think i think we're going in the right direction it's just going to be perseverance none of this stuff's easy uh, i know some people go oh you make it look so easy on channels and other people obviously doing this not just me that uh, restoration i oh, just go and do it. it's not it's it's time's some panels go to bed together really, really well, but some just really take time. Like this will probably take longer to do than the whole back end of the car, just because that's one big panel, then a lower panel. Hopefully they all go as well. All heritage, perfect. But this is very finicky. There's loads of overlapping things and we're getting there. I'm just gonna shut up. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for the support. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you've got any really, really good ideas because I'd, I'd love to hear them. Also, check out our sponsors in the link description below. Frost Restoration. I'm on my way to go and get some stuff from them very soon, so I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to do a bit of a garage video and a catch up with some tools and stuff that I've got. So, pull you guys in for that. But please support us. Let's move forward. The 89 is slowly, slowly coming back to a car. Slowly, very slowly. Catch us in the next one, guys, when hopefully we get these panels welded in. And yeah, stay safe and look after yourselves.